Hello there lovely soul, this is Infinity and I want to welcome you to the Pisces full moon for April 2021 tarot and oracle reading. Welcome cross watchers, welcome if this is your moon, your rising and of course your sun sign reading. We're going to get right into it with the moonology oracle. If I'm new to you, again my name is Infinity, I am a shaman, mystic, medical medical medium, psychic, physical, empath, channeler, uh, medium, uh, healer, dis distance healer, and uh, ascension coach and artist. Please check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, for all sorts of information about me, what I do to help people uh, with pain, chronic illness, and um, how to level up in their spirituality. I work with Tarot and Oracle. I work with people and their pets worldwide. So again, please check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And currently, I have a special for mediumship, a really awesome special for Mother's Day through the 15th of May. So please check that out if you're so guided. And without further ado, Pisces, let's get into your reading. There's our card to start us off. And what do we get? Don't let pride get in the way. Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in the way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I'm being guided to let's, well, I'm going to take this card to let's get right into it with the uh, Archangel Oracle, but I'm feeling here like... This is because this could be a being ha, letting pride get in the way can be about a lot of things and can mean a lot of things. But what I'm feeling here is uh, this is a need. This is the the need to Pisces uh, take responsibility, apologize. Uh, about a situation let's see what we get here breathe with Raphael. uh take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns healthy lifestyle with Raphael coming in twice for you eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimum health Interesting. And then we have Michael with remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay, so you have support in this. Whatever this is, if you've been thinking about somebody, and let me rephrase this apology thing. This could be that that a, an apology needs to happen, an amends needs to happen, and that you know you're scared, you could be rejected. But it's not about that. It's about releasing the energy between you and this other person, or you forgiving somebody. I'm hearing too. Michael chiming in right now, going, "This isn't only about one sided." He says, "This is also about forgiving somebody, Pisces." So this could be, he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is both. So you could be, you, so your situation could be that you're the person that needs to make this apology or you're the person who needs to gracefully accept the apology. Now, what I'm hearing is with this, remembering who you are, remember who you are on a soul-based level in this situation, <coughs> is specifically speaking to um who you are who you are on a soul-based level is your love your soul is love it's unconditional love um it's when we're in a human body with our soul and this reality and other people in their human bodies in this reality that really shakes things up and makes us forget ourselves on a soul-based level and that we are love and everybody else is love and we're we're forgetful as far as who we are as a soul and all of that stuff and you know nobody is perfect right 
you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody on this planet is perfect. No matter how awesome we are, none of us is perfect. And we need to, um, Raphael. So we have two Raphael cards and a Michael card. This is strong, strong energy. Don't let pride get in your way. If you feel that if you keep thinking about a person and you keep feeling like I really need to express myself to them. And even if it's not for like one thing, it could just be like a blanket apology for life for whatever I mean I recently did that with my own son I wrote him an apology letter not because there's anything specific it was just I'm sorry if I've ever made you feel bad or unloved or unheard I'm sorry if I wasn't there for you I know there's times that I wasn't I you know I apologize I'm your mother and I love you unconditionally and I just felt so compelled to write this letter to him um to share with him that um we are um a powerful bond and i love him so much and and me as his mother i needed to 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 do that and so it could be like that it could be that there was a specific situation that you messed up or you said the wrong you know said something to hurt somebody whether inadvertently or maliciously even um that you need to apologize for that you reacted in a really insanely dramatic emotional way and you are like oh my god i need to apologize for that <clears throat> Maybe you were very destruct, even very disrupt, destructive. Maybe you involved other people and got their energy all up in it and stuff like that too. So, um, or the other person. And and again, going back to who we are on a on a soul based level. And Raphael saying, if you clear your energy, think about what you're putting into your body. Think about how you're spending your time and what you're doing. Really consider clearing out your energy, cutting cords, resetting energies with yourself and this person or other people. Going back to this, don't let pride get in the way. Coming through pretty strong here. I want to grab some tarot cards for you Pisces. Um, so let's get going on that business. And... Okay. Let's do this. Interesting. Intense energies. But remember who you are. Michael is reminding me to say. Remember who you are. Once you do this. Either do the apologizing. Do the forgiving. Do the letting love in kind of business that needs to happen. Everything is going to shift. You're going to be like whoa <laughs> this was a big deal <laughs> this needed to happen it's just it's kind of I would imagine I've never gone skydiving I would though but I would imagine the first time a person goes skydiving and nobody does that by themselves the first time unless you're in a movie but typically you have to uh you have to have you know be strapped to somebody but even though you are, I can imagine that, you know, the the ride to the drive to the place, the, you know, getting suited up, getting like all of it, like getting in the plane and going up and knowing this is the plan. You're going to jump out of the plane. And the chances of it not going well are so slim. So, you know, you're going to be OK, right? Like. I don't know the, the odds, but I know that they've got to be really slim if, you know, for, for things not going right. But still, 100% of the people that go and do this um, are going to be freaked out, are going to be excited and scared and nervous and anxious and feeling like they're going to lose their, their mind and their stomach and, and everything at the same time. And... And then, you know, I can imagine what that's like to just leave the airplane and it's done. And now you're in a whole new world. Now you've jumped out of an airplane and you yet to reach the ground. 
it's not a certain outcome yet um and you're having a perspective that you've never had before and it's going by really really quickly and and you're everywhere and nowhere at the same time and there's exhilaration and and relief that it's over but not yet you know that f that in between is what this feels like i hope i painted a good picture there because <laughs> this is the imagery that's coming to me and what i'm seeing here in all of these cards interestingly enough i was told not to turn over and they're all upside down on my table right now um kind of like the unknown so this is don't let don't let the fear of the unknown get in your way can also be replaced with that don't let pride get in the way um because when somebody is coming from a pl place of you know being prideful or letting pride get in the way is their need to control and the reality is there's not much you can control other than yourself and your own energy and your own destiny and your own timelines as best as you can aside from everything else that's a factor in your universe there's yes we can be intentional and we can manifest and we're always manifesting we're always creating our reality but at the same time we need to release and have faith that that the greater mechanisms are also doing their job it's like the hour hand of the clock isn't worried about what it's all connected to it's just going around and doing its thing it's connected to a greater mechanism all right moving on queen of pentacles opening up our tarot here coming out right side up the wheel right side up king of swords right side up the sun in reverse that may change the world right side up wowza and three of pentacles in reverse that may change as well let me tap in here pisces Okay, so picking up strong on this Queen of Pentacles energy, and especially in this deck, I feel Mother Gaia really strong here. So whatever this is, Pisces, whether this is your your sun or your moon or your rising sign, it doesn't matter because Pisces mother gaia with the queen of with her queen of pentacles card here which in this deck is is gaia to me so she's coming in in this top position and just so you know i read tarot the traditional way i tr read tarot just by imagery and what i'm getting and what i'm envisioning and what your guides and guardians are telling me i read tarot for the numbers i read it wherever i'm being pointed and however i'm being pointed to interpret a read so just fyi um and i tap in specifically with the um angelic realms your your spirit tribe your ancestors your spirit guides and guardians um and yours mine and ours kind of thing okay just to clear that up get that out of the way for whatever reason i was compelled to so mother gaia coming out here in that first position really telling me and speaking to me with the wheel things are moving forward she is sending through this energy with um with air energy with this king of swords and really feeling high level um michael coming in affirming um this card will also feel to me like archangel michael which has already shown up here with remember who you are so he's coming in twice here with the king of swords and 
and really see all these birds, all of your guides and guardians. We have an owl here. We have a raven. We have a, uh, uh, we also have a dragonfly and a dragon. So we have all the flyers here. We have crystals around him. We He's up in the mountain. So he's up high, has this higher perspective. He has the sword. Um, and so Gaia, this forward movement coming in, her really coming in saying, whoever this person is, is um, that you either need to speak to and 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 apologize, clear the air, create new energy with, cut cords with, and reset cords with, however that that is, or the person that you need to do that for. This is a very important and pivotal situation, relationship, and connection. Please don't let pride get in the way. Let the unknown or fear get in the way. Let the in-between of feeling like the bottom is, is getting pulled or the rug is being pulled out from under you kind of thing. And so you don't even want to, you know, get up um, kind of energy. Keep you from it. Don't let procrastination get in the way with it or anything like that. Um, because it's not something that you necessarily want to do. It's something that needs to happen. It's part of the mechanisms that's going to really solidify the, the timelines that are coming in. And so this is very important. We have the sun here and it is in reverse. It's to stay in reverse because it will shift into going right side up once this happens. Um, so if, if nobody is coming to mind that you feel that you need to clear the air with, that you feel you need to give just a blanket boilerplate, I love you, I'm sorry for fill in the blanks, whatever it is, if that's, if there's nobody in your life that, that you have that with, then that's, there's somebody that's, that has that with you and they may not express it exactly in the way that I'm talking about, but when they do, whatever it is that they do, it's important for you to extend the door open to them instead of closing it off and saying no, um, because there's more to that story. The world is right after that card. So if you see the sacred geometry, you see the, um, the energy coming through, you see her balanced on this hoop. This is really intense, beautiful energy coming through with this message. And what, um, like I said, this sun is in reverse. And once it's right side up, once this takes place, this will be very um, um, world shifting, timeline shifting. Like I just, like I just said, uh, the, the, the way that our timelines work is through portals and we have many different portals. We have our monthly 10 day cycle of portals with the one day landing day. So making an 11 day cycle or, or Stargate. We have, um, we have the full moon, the new moon, the shifting from month to month. We have different um, activation days that are really big and important, which every month, one, um, one of them, the biggest one is on the 27th, which is also when this full moon is taking place. So this is actually, you know, very potent energy coming through to activate you to action or to activate the other person and, and for you to play your part in letting this play out in, in um, remember again, I'm um, being shown this card. Remember who you are. Um, and that is a loving, beautiful soul um, who knows nothing but unconditional love on a soul based level. So don't let your ego, your pride, your hurt, your fear, your anger get in the way of a soul connection that needs to continue. Because we, hmm, oh, interesting. That was interesting. You see that flipped out of my fingers and then landed in my other hand right side up. But it was that was magic. 
but it was in reverse. And I was just going to show it to you. And that's why I was picking it up the way that I was to show it to you in reverse, because this is the way it currently is. And when it's in this position, especially for this card, um, this three of pentacles card, this means this like coming together with others. And um, in this deck specifically, the way that this is shown to me, uh, the way that I see it is this is you, your inner child and divine counterparts, your your guardian angels, your archangels that are that are leading from a higher perspective and incorporating your spirit and you as as the adult, as the the um, <clears throat> the person in body at this time. <coughs> Excuse me. But again, it's in reverse, which shows that we're not, we're, um, we're in this in between. So you're being guided towards this. And also it's in reverse to show how it is in the physical with this person or people. It could be more than one person, of course, with the, this person or people, um, that could be friends or family that you need to have this talk and connection with. Let's get some more cards here. What are we going to get? Let's get the tools I'm feeling. Let's get the, we have the archetype oracle here. Um, and this is usually, I say this every time, so I'm sorry for repeating myself, but the, the whole deck comes with, the selves, the places, and the initiations or the themes. And this though is just the tools section. Is just the tools section is what I was guided to pull out for these readings today. And not every single one of these reads are getting any combination of my cards. They're all different today. Okay, so we just got the box. And it's a really cool looking card. Um, and aside from that, <sighs> this talks about needing to escape the box, see things from outside, you know, that whole cliche, like see outside the box, see things outside the box, do things from outside the box, that whole thing. That's what this card is about. It's about doing things differently, leaving the box, seeing things from a different perspective, um, not staying confined, not staying um, um, stuck in the box. And currently we're in the box. This is something to escape from. The tools are either something to use or to leave behind or escape from or to break the cycle of using or whatever, however it fits in. Um, so we want to um, see this as it is. This is a, a situation that has been created energetically and you're in it. You can leave the box anytime you want by extending this, this communication or receiving this communication. Okay, let's get some... Um, crystal cards I've been you this is a new deck to me and I've been using it more and more and I'm connecting to it more and more and I really like it okay that one too intention Yes, 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 yes. Intention. And then retreat with, so intention is with the staff. Retreat is with the mountain. Um, We have sacred healing. Medicine drum, sacred healing. And then we have personal power with power animal. Okay, and the corresponding crystals, which I'll get into here in a second. So intention is pyrite. Pyrite with staff card number, what card? 18. So there's a nine. Intention, uh, beautiful Pisces. So 
be intentional about connecting and getting receiving these messages from Gaia about doing what needs to be done even though it's scary even though you may be in that in between place like you don't know how this person's going to receive you um if you're the person who needs to do the extending um being intentional but but this retreat is about uh, what I'm really feeling with retreat is about going to a place where you can really think clearly um so if you can actually take a retreat and we're seeing mountains three times here well we're seeing kind of jungly mountains with the queen of earth but we're seeing the mountain with the king of swords and we're seeing the mountain here with retreat and it's the mountain so if you can retreat to the mountains for a day, two days, a weekend, a week, if you can, that would be fantastic because you, you can get away. And the, the, the reason why the mountains are so special um, is that you're higher and you're above all of the, the, the concentrated energy of the bigger population. So I live in the mountains. I'm at almost... Um, I think 6,500 feet here. And it's a huge difference from being on the flatlands and the busyness of the metropolis and all of that energy. And, and then being up here in nature with less people, with clear air, with all the trees and everything. It's so much easier to feel and think and connect. So if that's what you need to do to help remember who you are and connect with those like Raphael and Michael and Gaia, please do so. Sacred healing needs to be done and the drum is what's coming through for you. So if you have a drum, awesome, beat on it, get into a rhythm, get into a meditative state with your drum um, is what I'm seeing here. If you don't have one, see if you can get one. I got one for 50 bucks on eBay and it's awesome. Um, it's a Debinde, de de I can never say that right, Debinde um, drum, but get whatever kind of drum you can um, or just, you know, get a, get a, uh, it can taste something that makes noise you know whatever it is I'm feeling like that or put on some really awesome drum beats that you can meditate to um, sacred healing is speaking to soul based healing soul connection healing connecting and healing with Gaia from the ground up and using all of excuse me all of the elements and then personal power with um, power animal. Oh, and um, I didn't say this part here with retreat. It was green calcite for your crystal and for sacred healing. It's malachite, malach malachite. <sighs> I always want to add an extra um, L there. And then for personal power, it is chrysolite. <clears throat> as your crystals okay so this how so here we go intention retreat sacred hearing sacred healing and personal power coming through here really really strong energy so having the intention to do this work to escape the box Remember who you are. We need sacred healing on an energetic level. So work with a healer um, that you're guided to. Uh, I'm available. Come see me. Um, I, no, seriously, we can do um, energy healing. That is what I do. Um, but work with somebody that, that you feel guided to, that you feel connected to, that you feel really understands um uh <clears throat> you and what you're looking for and all that good stuff and whatever the situation is just to get really honest about it um so you can move forward and again whether it's just if it's just if all you can do is some reiki awesome just whatever it is um, I feel that it's really um, would be really great for you to work with not only yourself, of course, we're we're our best first healers because we take ourselves to healing. So from you, 
let Raphael's coming here twice. Raphael is the archangel of healing. I work directly with Raphael in my healings. So what needs to happen here is to heal and just you can just call in Raphael and let him guide you to what to whomever and however you should do this healing but definitely sacred healing is coming up and he's here twice so deep energetic healing and he just happens to be or he this healing card just happens to be right above the sun that's in reverse so like I said this is an activation that's like coming through with the full moon to really to really if you've been thinking about energy healing if you've been thinking about about clearing your energy if you've been thinking about working with me or somebody um, else then this could be you know the your real push to to really get on that to take the next step to book that consultation if it's with me to book a healing to to research to do whatever you feel or you're being guided to do you will step into your personal power you will um, through this process but this is like an again this is it says intention but I'm hearing also initiation this is something this is a a part of your journey that's like unlocking a door going through the portal like I said earlier um, leaving the box and if you if you take a look at the box and see that on the inside there it is like a portal and stepping through it and being out of the maze of the box awesome okay i think that's it for us loves love you pisces thank you so much for being here once again check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org for ebooks my podcast um links to medium.com my articles and stories there of course check out the rest of my youtube channel if you haven't yet subscribed please do so hit the bell so you know when i'm dropping new videos going live like I will be um, soon. I'll be going live with live Terran Oracle reads, live uh, channeled guided astral meditations and live energy updates and live um, art. I am an artist as well. So anyway, check, uh, check out um, what I have to offer again on my website and on my YouTube channel. And I hope that you become a part of this community. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know how this resonated for you. And until next time, Pisces, I wish you a beautiful full, full moon. And of course, going into May. Until next time. Bye for now. <laughs>